So hi everybody, I'm going to be in a video today teaching you guys how to make Flubber. Or, I don't know, Flubber, Putty, Silly Putty, um, I'm just going to make this. So yeah, how to make Flubber. It's stretchy. And so... This is the tools you will be needing. And also, a lot of people use borax, but today I'm going to be using laundry detergent. So the first thing you're going to need is, it kind of bounces. See that? So yeah. First thing you're going to need is laundry detergent, and you don't need a lot. So yeah, you'll need some water and glue and something to mix it with. The first thing we're going to do is take our laundry detergent and put however as much as goop we want. We want about this much. So yeah, and I'm using Elmer's glue all by the way. Next, just going to mix it. So yeah, so make sure it, the mixing part is really good. Look at that. If it's like that, then there's glue inside. So you need to pop it out. Okay. So when it's mixed the way you want it, what we're gonna do is take our water and just transfer only the goo the putty in the water. So only so yeah. And then you're just gonna dip it in there and give it a nice wash. And putting in the water makes it a putty. So yeah. And then just take it off and just put it back in the water again. And hold on everybody, I'm going to be right back. you guys that I just missed out but now it should look like this after you washed it in water it's stretchy and, just, and see if dip it in the water and then go ahead in, the, in your sink and wash it out since it's wet don't put like a paper towel and dry it out because it will stick to the paper towel and you don't want that. So just, it will dry it out by itself so, and then it will become like this. So this is the one I made. Um, is that hard to see? If it is, hold on. Just put it down, but yeah. Yeah, like I said, don't put it on paper, but I'm just putting it back as you guys can see. So, now it's kind of, the air is drying it out by itself. It's becoming more of a putty. And I'm going to mix these together because they're both the same. Mix 
from a bigger one. And if you want to make a mold, what I do is just rip off a piece of this, flatten it down, oh, flatten it down, and then take something you want to mold and put it in there and surround the edges. Hopefully it will come out. So there's going to be a part two when I take it out. You'll know when it dries because it's going to be like a blue color like that. So I'm just going to make sure this leaf goes in there. And I'm going to let that dry. So thank you for watching guys. Bye.